Hello YouTubers, uh, Manny from Manny's How To Workshop once again uh, with part two of the pruning of my mango trees after uh, the frost that we had here in central Florida, i.e. east of Tampa. Uh, as you can see, I went ahead and uh, pruned up my uh, biggest mango tree and it's looking pretty scary. I know, uh, with the exception of those few uh, green leaves left but that's giving me a good feeling um, I brought it down some like I said I cut it right down until um, I could see the what they call the wood and and it looks viable uh, the center is looking good on some of them you can't really see it but it's still like a light green and that tells me there's still life uh, coming through there on this lower branch uh, I cut it back as far as I could um, to expose like I said some of the young wood and I think once I apply that uh, the tree compound the pruning compound uh, this should help the tree focus on getting all the nutrients that I'm gonna put later by putting that organic compost down and then water it and since we're almost about halfway through February here uh, the temperatures are already starting to climb up into the 80s already so I feel that these guys are gonna do very well I went ahead and cut off all the little ones too um, as you can see and I'm gonna cap them off with some of that compound uh, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. Okay, so basically, here's the compound. It's dark in color. Well, I got a little putty knife here. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, scoop up a little bit like that. And then come over to the branch and go ahead and, and apply it. It's It's more like a little... Uh, a waxy uh, texture to it and then you just want to go ahead and cover all the little exposed areas like that obviously you know holding a camera in one hand and trying to do it without the leaf shaking a little difficult a little branch shaking but you get the idea like I say you just Cover it up like so, and make sure that there we go, it's on there. And and like on these big ones, all right, just start like putting on there, kind of just like the same thing if you were using putty. And Cover it up, and this will help the the wound that you just created not to um, helps to keep the moisture inside, basically, so it doesn't dry out, and any foreign uh, you know tree bacteria that might come over and try to attach itself to it. So, there we go. And there you have it. And basically, that's what I got to do to all of them. And uh, hopefully this will help it along. And in a couple of weeks, I should start seeing new growth, new buds from where the leaves used to be. As you can see, I also went down on each branch and plucked all the leaves off. And that's what you're seeing right there all on the ground. So you're gonna, gonna clean this up after, hopefully, before it rains. And uh, put it in my other pile over there. You can see that I'm saving uh, to burn after. And then use that ash also as part of the compost because it goes right back. It's like a recycle, you know? 
But uh, and then I'll make a follow-up video once these uh, plants start coming back um, and we start approaching March. I think they're gonna come back with full force. So thank you for watching again. Um, please rate and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.